PM fam. I have to admit, it was occasionally difficult over the past week trying to explain away the situation in the United States to all of our friends overseas. In Argentina, which is long ransacked by inflation, the necessity of cryptocurrency is really easily understood. They found a lot of great methods to deal with it. Meanwhile, the United States is entering into this open state of hostility against cryptocurrency, and it's not pleasant to see. To reiterate my comments from last week, we don't want anybody to do anything stupid. Americans need to comply with all sanctions. Not legal advice, but just perspective of me. The way to fight for this is not to do something stupid, but for organizations like Coin Center or hopefully Lex Punk Army to mount a legal challenge. And we should all be ready to fund said challenge. We're talking about it a lot in the PacDAO Discord server, and we would urge you to join there. Although the United States actions have proved the catalyst in this case, they're not actually the only party at fault here. A lot of so-called DeFi protocols have a lot to gain if they can push for regulation that keeps competition out of the game. And it's a great time to do it. So many centralized DeFi players got toppled over the past few months. There's a rather small cadre of survivors left, and they're looking to keep it this way. It's a really good opportunity for them to push for so-called self-regulation that ultimately has the effect of freezing out competition. We've been calling it DeCFi. Others I've seen have called it FedFi. Whatever you call it, bad regulation creates unfair finance, which is not what people want. Moreover, keep an eye on the Ethereum block debate. Nobody's requested this, but a lot of people are voluntarily stepping up and considering what happens if the Ethereum protocol censors transactions on a block-by-block -block validation level. Now, all of us want the Ethereum merge to be a success. We want to prove that proof of stake is the best option here. So we urge you to spin up a validator node if you're interested in doing something to protect the core principles of DeFi. Encouragingly, America is actually good at self-correcting itself. We have a better federal system than most. So work at the local and state level can go a long ways towards getting laws protecting cryptocurrency to bubble up to DC faster. So ultimately, long term, we think that we're bullish because it just takes a shift in the political winds to undo a lot of the damage from the executive branch. It can be frustrating because America is only undermining itself and its own citizens here, but we like to think that long term, we're going to get things right.